good day to all of you today we shall solve model question paper 1 with effect from 2022 to cbcs scheme third semester b degree examination the subject being digital design and computer organization with the subject code bcs 302 we shall take up module 1 in that question 1a asked for 5 marks demonstrate positive and negative logic using and gate the solution is as follows positive logic in this plus 5 volts is treated as logic 1 0 volts is treated as logic 0 negative logic in this plus 5 volts is treated as logic 0 and 0 volts is treated as logic 1 in positive logic plus 5 volts which is the high voltage that is treated as logic 1 0 volts which is the low voltage which is treated as logic 0 but in negative logic plus 5 volts which is high voltage that is treated as logic 0 0 volts which is low voltage that is treated as logic 1 next we shall consider and gate in positive logic and in negative logic this is the truth table of and gate in positive logic a and b are the inputs f is the output this is the logic symbol of and gate in positive logic this is boolean equation of and gate in positive logic f output is equal to a and b this is logical and operator so it, here in the truth table when we observe when both the inputs are low the output is low that is when both are zero the output is zero and when any one is zero the output is zero the output is logic one only when both the inputs are logic one but if you consider the truth table of and gate in negative logic here when both are low the output is low when any one is low the output is low the output is high only when both the inputs are high here logic zero represents this is high voltage here in positive logic logic one represents high voltage this is logic symbol of and gate in negative logic its boolean equation f equal to this is the output f equal to a bar or b bar whole bar and that is the solution of question number 1 a asked for 5 marks next we shall solve question 1 b find the pos expression for f of a b c d here this is product of max terms 2 3 5 8 10 13 14 and don't care conditions 1 6 7 11 and realize it using nor gates means here you have to find simplified pos and realize simplified expression using nand gates so product of sums to get simplified product of sums we'll have to fill zeros then here don't care conditions then making group of zeros we'll have to find the simplified product of sums the solution as per given function k map has to be drawn because four variables are there in the function 2 raised to 4 squares have to be drawn in the k map so 1 2 3 4 4 4 are 16 squares are drawn the four variables a b c d out of four a b two variables are written here and two input variables c d are written here for any two variables four possible combinations 0 0 0 1 1 will be written here and 0 0 0 1 1 0 combinations for a b are written here next these are the max terms so 2 means here 0 1 2 3 2 so this is 2 place that is filled 0 because it is present in the function 3 is also present because 4 is not present 5 and 8 are present so 4 is not filled with 0 then 8 is filled with 0 then 10 is filled with 0 then 13 is filled with 0 then 14 is filled with 0 so this is zeroth place 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 here 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 
there zero then wherever don't care condition is present one so zero one this one th place here we'll have to fill don't care condition means cross mark and six eleven seven and eleven so four five six here cross mark seven here cross mark eight nine ten eleven also cross mark so in one six eleven seven and eleven places don't care conditions are filled in remaining places logic one will be there because we have to find simplified product of sum pos expression we'll have to consider zeros and group them so all 16 are not zero hence biggest group of 16 is not possible then octet is not possible anywhere a group of eight zeros is not possible then we'll have to go for quad so here this is a quad of zeros means don't care conditions will be treated as zero so this way this is another quad second quad and with these two quad 1 2 3 4 5 zeros are covered to cover this we have taken a pair here because nowhere quad can be made next to cover this this and this make a pair because if you take a fold here when you fold this falls on this so these two come adjacent to each other hence they make a pair so how many groups are present so this is one group second group this is third group this is fourth group group 1 and 2 are quad then third group is pair fourth group is also pair when four groups are there four terms will be there in the output expression so with respect to group 1 so this is group 1 to cover all the fours zeros they come in these two rows Row wise zero 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 one means this zero is common with respect to A. Hence A should be written. Row wise A is common in first group, which is common column wise in first group. So in this first group, these four zeros they are covered in these two columns zero one one one. So column wise this one is common with respect to D. Hence we have to write D dash. So A plus D dash. This is logical or so some term we call a plus d dash a or a logically or with d dash this is some term next with respect to group two all the four come in four rows row wise nothing is common column wise they fall in single column where one zero is there this one corresponds to c this zero corresponds to d hence c dash Plus D will have to write. This is with respect to second group. Similarly, third group. This is a pair here. These two zeros come in these two rows. Zero one one one. This one is common with respect to B. Hence B dash will have to write. Next, this uh, these two zeros come in one column. Their zero one is common. Zero corresponds to C. One corresponds to D. Hence C plus d dash so b dash plus c plus d dash b dash is row wise common c plus d dash is column wise common so that is what is with respect to third group fourth group if you take this zero this zero in fall in this row so row wise one zero is common one is with respect to a zero is with respect to b so a dash plus b then column wise these two fall in in these two columns 0 0 1 0 so this zero is common that is with respect to d hence plus d we may write so these four form the final expression hence simplified pos is f of a b c d equal to a plus d dash and c dash plus d and b dash plus C plus D dash and A dash plus B plus D. This is POS form, simplified, simplified POS expression, product of sums. Here and operation is there. It is product here. These are sums. So product of sums form. We have realized simplified POS expression for the given problem. 
Next, we have to realize this using NOR gates. For that, first we will have to draw OR and circuit. Then, put bubbles in the middle layer. And lastly, replace bubbled input AND gate with NOR gate. These are the steps. So, this is the simplified pause expression what we have got. So, for this, we will draw OR AND gate. So, this is A or D dash. So, two input OR gate is taken. A, D dash are written here. They are the inputs. What is present here? A or D dash. Similarly, C dash or D. C dash or D with another OR gate. Then here, three input OR gate. So, that is taken. What are the inputs? B dash, C, D dash. B dash, C, D dash. That is the third OR gate. This requires fourth OR gate where A dash B D are the input. So A dash B D are the input. This is the fourth OR gate. The output of all these OR gates must be ANDed. So the output of all OR gates are taken and that is ANDed. The resulting we have the given expression here. That is the first step. So first step is over. We have drawn OR AND circuit for the simplified pause. What is the se second step? In the middle layer, we will have to put bubbles. So, that circuit is copied here. In the middle layer, put bubbles. Here one bubble in another bubble. Like that in all middle layer lines. Okay. What these bubbles indicate? This is one NOT gate, another NOT gate. Two NOT gates in series, it is as though no change in the function. Okay. So, hence putting two bubbles doesn't make any difference. It will be, the circuit will be equivalent to the found simplified expression circuit only. What is the third step? Replace bubbled input AND gate with NOR gate. Here, bubbled input AND gate must be replaced with corresponding NOR gate. So, this circuit finally, so bubbled input AND gate is replaced by NOR gate because bubbled input AND gate is equivalent to NOR gate. So, this is the final circuit diagram which is drawn using only NOR gates. That completes the solution. Next, we shall solve question 1c. Simplify the Boolean function f of w, x, y, z equal to sigma m of 0, 1, 2, 4, 6, 7, 9, 12, 14. This is sigma. Means these are the min terms. Sum of min terms. The expression is given in the form of SOP form. Sum of products. So this we have to simplify using KMAP. And write the Verilog program for realizing the minimized expression. It carries 10 marks. As a part of solution, first we have to draw the K-map. Because 4 variables are there, we will have to draw the K-map of 16 squares. 2 raised to 4 equal to 16. 16 squares. Then fill in min terms. So here we have drawn K-map of 16 squares. And W, X are the two variables written here. Y, Z are written here. For two variables, four combinations. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1 here. And for W, X, four combinations. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0 are written here. Because min term 0, 1, 2 are present. 0, 1, 2 are present. There we have to fill 1. Then 4, 6, 7. This 4 is present, hence 1. 5 is not present, so we do not fill 1 there. 6, 7, we fill 1. 9 and 12, 8 is not present, 9 is present, 12 is present, hence 1. 13 is not present, but here 14 is present, 1. So, whichever min terms are present in their places in KMAP, we will have to fill logic once. Next, we will have to group ones. Okay. So, all 16 are not one. Hence, a big group of 16. All having ones is not possible. Then, we will have to try for octet. Nowhere 8. A group of 8 ones is not possible. Then, we have to try for quad. 
so here you take a fold here on this line so when we fold so these two fall on this so these two and these two form one quad so that we have marked as first group and similarly second group so these two and these two when you take a fold here so on that these two fall on this so they make a quad so this one we have made another so second group that is quad then third one if you take a fold here so then this falls on this so these two make a pair so that is third group so to cover this this is paired with this so that is fourth group so when four groups are realized in the final expression four terms will be there next with respect to first group so this quad that is first group so four ones are there they come in these two rows 0 0 0 1 this zero is common that is with respect to w hence it is w dash that is what we have written and so these two ones these two ones of group first they fall in these two columns 0 0 1 0 this zero is common with respect to z hence z dash so w dash and z dash this is with respect to first group row wise and column wise we have written then with respect to second group these four ones they fa fall in this two rows so 0 1 1 1 this one is this one is common with respect to x hence we have written x these two ones for second group they fall in these two columns 0 0 1 0 so this zero and this zero is common that is with respect to z we write z dash x and z dash for second group row wise x is common column wise z dash is common then third group so third group this and this that pair will have to consider they fall in this row and this row 0 0 1 0 that is this and this zero with respect to x hence we'll write x dash with respect to third group then with respect to third group column wise that is covered in this single column 0 1 is common 0 with respect to y 1 with respect to z hence y dash z so x dash with row wise y dash and z column wise in the third group so that is what we have written then with respect to fourth group that is this that is a pair of these two ones they fall in same row that is 0 1 0 corresponds to w that is w dash 1 corresponds to x so w dash and x these are row wise common for the fourth group so this is fourth group these two ones they are covered in these two columns so 1 1 1 0 this one is common which corresponds to y hence y will have to consider w dash and x with row wise they are common in fourth group and column wise y is common so for all the four groups we have written the terms here right product terms so in the final expression sum of all these gives the final expression hence f of w x y z which is a simplified boolean function equal to w dash z dash that is from first group or x z dash that is from second group or from third group x dash y dash z and from fourth group w dash x y this is what is the final expression so sim the given expression is simplified now for this simplified expression we'll have to write the very log program so when we write very log program module it's a reserved word end module that is end of program here start of program end of program so the name of program we have given simplified within bracket and semicolon here the inputs and outputs will have to list W, X, Y, Z are the inputs. F is the output. 
so after listing and putting semicolon input list of all inputs is stated here semicolon output list of all outputs f is the only output here semicolon then using data flow model we are writing the program so assign is the reserved word that f equal to within brackets w dash z dash we need so tilde w this is logical and operator so between w dash and z dash logical and is there so tilde w logical and tilde z this is first group term logically or with this is or so logical pipeline operator is the logical or then within brackets second term that is x z dash so x logical and tilde z then this logical or with pipeline operator within bracket this tilde x and tilde y and z for x dash y dash z then one more pipeline operator for logical or in within bracket w dash x y tilde w logically ended with x logically ended with y so the expression is over that is semicolon this is the very log program for the simplified expression that completes the solution for question 1c which is asked for 10 marks okay so that completes the discussion of question number 1 a b c a for 5 marks b for 5 marks and c for 10 marks so question 1 totally for 20 marks so that's all in this video in next video we shall cover 2 a b c which will be for 20 marks. I hope you understood. Thank you.